life seem hopeless, no strength to live on your own, let Jesus come alongside and hold you up in the yoke of his loving arms. What do you have to lose? Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we're inspired and motivated to learn these things about the benefits of being yoked in Christ, Matthew eleven twenty nine, or walking shoulder to shoulder with our Savior taking the lead. For example, in Romans eight thirty nine, we learn nothing can separate us from the love of God. 1 Corinthians 1, 2, those yoked in Christ are sanctified or made holy and called to be saints. 1 Corinthians 1, 30 says that when we are yoked in Christ, we have access to God's wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. 1 Corinthians 15, 22, we are made alive. 2 Corinthians 1, 21, we have been anointed by God, sealed by the Holy Spirit. 2 Corinthians 5.17, we are new creations. All things have passed away, and behold, all things are new. 2 Corinthians 12.9, the power of Christ rests upon us. Our spirit is made perfect in our weakness. Galatians 2.20, yoked in Christ, it is no longer us who love or live, but Christ lives in us. We have this life by faith in Christ, who loved us and gave himself for us. Galatians 3.26, we are considered sons of God through our faith in Christ. Ephesians 1, 3, this yoke, those yoked in Christ are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm. This is not by accident, for Ephesians 1, 4 says, He chose us in him before the world was formed, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Verse 7, we are forgiven of our sins. Ephesians 2, 10, the, those yoked in Christ are known as his workmanship, created for good works, which God prepared beforehand. Whereas those not yoked in Christ, according to Ephesians 2.12, have no hope and are living in this world without God. According to Ephesians 3.17, those yoked in Christ have Christ dwelling in our hearts and through faith are being rooted and grounded in love. Verse 19, coming to know personally the love of Christ, which possess, which passes knowledge, so that we may be filled with all the fullness of God. Ephesians 5, 2, those yoked in Christ walk in love as Christ loved us. Colossians 1, 27, we have Christ in us, the hope of glory. Colossians 2, 7, we are being rooted and built up and established in the faith, according, abounding in, in it with thanksgiving. Verse 9, in Christ dwells all the fullness of God. Verse 10, we are complete in him who is the heart or the head of all principalities and powers. Colossians 3, 3, the, those yoked in Christ have died and our lives are now hidden with Christ and God. Words of encouragement. So if we're having a bad day and things don't seem to be going our way, stop, adjust our yoke, make sure we are yoked shoulder to shoulder with our Savior and not the world or the cares of the world. Then submit to walking being led by Christ and not our own desires in the way that seems right to a man. Walk humbly and acknowledge we need to be yoked to Jesus and not try to walk by our own strength. For though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for Jesus is King. Have a great day.